Hey, it's Lloyd Lofton with another episode of Power Behind the Sales. Now, I want to have full disclosure with you. My wife told me this morning, before you do any more videos, you need to shave. And like a good husband, I didn't listen to her. So in the next video, I promise you I will shave. An agent recently asked me in a chat box in a webinar I did about direct mail. Here's the thing I do always want to tell people about direct mail. First of all, pick a good lead, direct mail lead vendor. A good direct mail lead vendor can tell you what direct mail pieces are getting the best response for the market you want to work. So, for example, if I'm working the, 60, the senior market, uh, I can talk to them about the turning 65 direct mail, turning 66, turning 67. They will tell me which pieces. You usually have a choice of five or six different pieces. They'll tell me which pieces get the best response. And I'm not interested in a piece I like. I'm interested in a piece the consumer responds to. And I'm sure that you're the exact same way. The second thing you want to do is you want to order in more than one zip code. So, for example, we'll keep it that senior market. If I'm marketing to people turning 65, there's only so many people turning 65 in any one zip code in any month. Even if I did turn in 65, 66, and 67, there's only so many people turning that age in one month in that zip code. So you want to make sure that you have four or five different zip codes. And yes, that may mean that you have to drive somewhere. That's just the, we're in business. We're in business for ourselves. That's what we need to do. So we want to make sure that we are not shrinking our pool of prospects. We are expanding our pool of prospects, right? So the next thing you want to make sure you do is ask for the non-responder list. So here's what happens. You get a lead vendor. They do a 1,500, 2,000 mail drop for you. You get a 1.5, 1.8% response rate. You're getting back 10, 15 cards. But everybody else, let's say you get back uh, 20 cards. If I do a 1,500 mail drop, that means 1,400 and how many? 80 people got the card and didn't respond back. So if I do uh, get a non-responders list with phone numbers when available, that means I can contact those people. And the third thing you do when you get those uh, cards back, you want to break them down by zip code and routing number. What's a routing number? Well, look on any mail you get. So you might have a mail, your zip code might be 30319, and it'll have dash 5682. 30319 is the, tells the post office what city you live in, and the four-digit routing number tells them what part of that city you live in. That's your neighborhood. And the reason you want to break those cards down is as you go out and work, you can work one community at a time. We used to call it uh, uh, winning the community. You can work one community at a time. So there's some tips on using direct mail. As always, make sure that you click the link below to get uh, more information on our offers. Subscribe to this video. Mark on the button, the, the little bell there, and get notified anytime that uh, I post a video on here. And we'll see you on the next Power Behind the Sales.